in a world where ancient dragon gods have disappeared. Five adventurers will help the Paramount Paladin Department with some issues that need to be taken care of. A blue tiefling who is the 42nd of her name. A purple-haired changeling who likes to make things explode. An elf who is incredibly terrified of mannequins. A mommy dommy bugbear. Did I say that right? Mommy dommy? Okay. And a hamster. Wait, that's it? Just a hamster? Does it do anything crazy? Uh, let me check. Uh, the hamster knows parkour! These heroes are going to find out the problems that are happening in the city of Paramount. Or possibly not. That's up to them. In the cleverly titled... Not successfully either, by I the way. Wasn't. Not a successful <laughs> scream through the wall. Who says right. I wasn't smothering myself with the pillow? Oh, she, she got I us. Just, I just want to end this sickness so badly. Just let me go. I wish I to so... end it. Totally fair. Totally fair. Also, hello everybody on Pony Stream, and hello Hi. everybody watching on YouTube. Yeah. Hi, this, people. Yeah, hi, people. This Hello. is the uh, little D&D uh, &D campaign that I am starting to teach some of my friends some D&D &D that wanted to learn, and it is called The Problems in Paramount. Uh, Paramount Ooh. is this fancy city right here. Um, and... Huh? Sorry, I don't have... I don't have my... Things. Don't worry, I'm a streamer, good streamer. I'm a good streamer, don't worry about it. Keep, keep going. Yeah, okay. You are a good streamer. I'm a good streamer, I'm sorry. You are a good streamer, it's okay. So, uh, so uh, this city right here is called Paramount. It is the third largest city in essentially the world. Um, it is uh, essentially, think of like a fantasy New York City skyscrapers, markets all over the place, people getting mugged, it's great. Um, Yay, nice. muggers. And uh, currently helping out with our paladin department, which is the PPD, uh, we have five uh, adventurers. However, two of them, I'm saying, are uh, canonically, um, I didn't ask them, but this is going to be what happens, um, Yoko and Coral find out that there's a casino, and they are heading there. Great. <laughs> that sounds about right. Good, like good, responsible policemen. Yeah, right? As yeah. one should. So they're heading off to the Lucky Left Casino. They gone. And uh, they're going to do some investigating there of the slot machines to see if they, uh, they work or not. See if they're sus. Yes, sus machines. But in the meantime, uh, we have three others here at the police department. Uh, would you all be able to Introduce yourselves, please. Who wants to go first? I'll go first. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Do uh, it. <laughs> my character's name is Aspen. She is very, very into nature music, but she's a little scared of things like inanimate objects that move or things that move in the very uncanny valley ways. Um, anything that doesn't look natural, she probably won't like it at all and will panic. Now, um, but yeah. As a druid, does she like walking trees? Yes. Okay. Because they're like, they're friends because forest. Got Any, it. Like if, if it. If it looks natural, like trees, rocks, animals, things like that, she's good. But mechanical but if it's like, stuff. Hey, or... this metal thing or this like mannequin made of plastic or fiber <laughs> moves. She's like, nope. Solid. And I'm solid assuming like the me. undead as well then, correct? Yeah, yeah, yeah. exactly. Mm -hmm. Okay, cool. Good to know for the future. 
Oh, uh, great. <laughs> well, no, just, just so then that way I can prepare ahead of time of like, oh, well, should I make more or less of this in here? Let's not throw Both. too many skeletons in here. <laughs> throw all of the skeletons. I was going to say, give me all the skeletons. Do boys. all of it. <laughs> Rattle them, the boys. Get him, boy. Yeah. <laughs> and Perfect. next, uh, after Aspen, which we have uh, a picture of um, Keyleth there because I don't have official Aspen art yet, but that's okay. I will get it to you. You don't, you don't need to take your time as much. You've got 30,000 other things happening, Ren. It's okay. It's true. Yes. <sighs> Next to Aspen is Six, so Six, why don't you describe yourself, please? Um, hi, I'm Six, and I'm a beginning, um, yeah, I'm a changeling who is studying the art of art, uh, I cannot speak. <laughs> Artisifery. Okay. Yeah. Art artisifery? You're know. an artificer. You, you yeah. are an artificer. You're an, you're an artificer. <laughs> Do you what yeah. subclass did you choose, Cruz? Or uh Reese? Um I don't think I chose one yet. Oh. Okay. You're level three, so if you want to you can, but you don't have to. Okay. I forget what mine is. Because my subclass. Oh I yeah, that one. <laughs> that makes sense. All I know is that uh, Aspen is the moon druid, so that way they can turn into bear. Yay! I can yeah. turn into animal. Yeah. 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 Uh, I believe. Oh, that's right. Uh, Ren, you sent me the list of animals that you want to turn into. Yeah. I need to grab I those. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I need to grab those. I literally came in today. I'm like, I have everything I need prepared, and that was the one thing I didn't have prepared. <laughs> <laughs> it's fine. Uh, okay, so uh, when you said I'm six, I'm like, oh no, is that your age? I got so concerned for a second. Oh, no. <laughs> I'm like, no, I don't want, I don't want a trauma-bound six-year-old no, working child. in the police department. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and Apple, the old oh, banana sound reward gives you the oh banana from oh, DK64. From uh, oh no. my god, it's yeah. amazing! I love that sound effect. Yeah. So, yeah, that's literally all it is. It's one of my random sound alerts is you can just do, oh, Ooh, banana. I banana. love that one. Yep. That one and Deja Vu are my favorites. Deja Vu. Da, da, da. Yeah, I, don't... Oh, I don't know what that's from, but it sounds cool. It's from Initial D. Yeah. Cool. D. <laughs> also, only. Oh, tell us so about good. yourself. <gasps> Cabbage just thank you for gifting subbies again. Ah! Oh my gosh. <laughs> it's what I do. He gift to Apple. Oh, oh my gosh. Yeah. Ah. So, uh, next to six up? is. I also uh, looked up my specialist. That's art florist. Art these Ah, ooh. It's spicy. Ooh. Sorry, sorry for the switching back and forth. By the way, at least on stream, um, I'm trying to recreate my D and D Beyond thing in Roll Twenty just to make it easier on myself. So, yeah. <laughs> so seizure warning. I don't know. Seizure warning <laughs> between know. maps. I don't know. <laughs> seizure warning, maybe. <laughs> so, uh, currently, um, uh, oh, I'm sorry. We still need to introduce Pony's character. Is it oh, Ner Nerum? Nerum. Okay, I, th I thought something was. I thought something was silent. Is it the second nope. K? Probably, maybe. I don't know. <laughs> Nerum. Doesn't know how to spell. Does it matter? No, this is your character. What do you mean, baby? My character has a negative one to intelligence. I don't know what you want from me. That's valid. Well, that doesn't mean you have negative one to You would be wrong. Oh, sorry. I shouldn't assume. <laughs> I'm a method actor, Red. Look. I am this dumb when I'm this character. I, I will always and forever play characters that either have low dexterity or low wisdom because that's what I am in real life, which is why it's I can great. never play a monk. It's great. Also, literally, that's just what bugbear names look like, so don't ask yeah. me. <laughs> I played a, uh, I played a bugbear. Oh I my played... gosh, cabbage again! I gave it to Reese. 
Reese is I in know. The, Reese is in the game. Again. He deserves one. So, uh, yeah, we, um, uh, I played a bla- bugbear called Blagrot. Um, and, <laughs> yeah, like, see, so I know, I know how the names are. Yeah, there were exactly. three Gs in Blagrot. Try to figure exactly. out where the third one is. <laughs> see what I mean? <laughs> This isn't me. This is bugbear culture. Yep. I love well. Bugbear culture is dumb name. By the way, uh, the second G was, or the third G was after the apostrophe. Um, so <laughs> we are in the. Sounds we, right. Yep. We are currently in. I'm gonna move these guys over real quick. Oh, and as a small introduction, yeah, I'm the bugbear, uh, Dami Mami Bugbear Neromk. You can call her Nair for short. Nair. Um. But, uh, yeah, she's here to kick ass and chew bubblegum, and bubblegum doesn't exist in this universe, she's all so... Out of gum. <laughs> so she's just gonna eat snails. Yeah. As she should. Uh, so, you guys are currently in the PPD, the Paramount Paladin Department. Okay, I'm a um, barbarian, by the way, for anybody who D&Ds. <laughs> yes. And currently, y'all are standing in front of an officer, Lehman Squall who is this handsome boy right here. Mm -hmm. Uh, Then, next to him, is... I can't believe I gave her this name because I couldn't remember what her name was. Uh, Officer Mimi Banjo. Show to everyone. We have official art for Mimi now. Why Why you gotta do my girl like that? Just kidding. What? Mimi? Nothing. Yeah, Mimi. Mimi Banjo. Yeah. Oh, uh, I should probably Where pull up the art. Where are you posting all here. this art? Where can I see this thing? The, it's in roll 20. roll twenty. It's in roll twenty, but I will post yeah, the art in the group chat why. as well. I will yeah, post the art the chat in the group. Yeah, because the mobile sucks and I can't see anything on it. Uh, so you're I'm good. using you're good, you're good. Stream to see the thing. Oh yeah, that's fine. Yeah, you're good. You're good. So we have these good. two individuals here, and currently, uh, the party um, just recently fought some automatons to help. Uh, see what their battle prowess is. Um, currently, uh, there were five people helping with these automatons, but two of them ran off. Uh, one probably wanted to get away because they um, heard there was a casino, and the other one mm-hmm. probably wanted to get away because they accidentally punched Mimi in the face to stop the automatons from attacking, uh, not realizing <laughs> that it was, a, it was a thing. So, with all of that being said, Mimi says, you guys did great. Uh, the chief should be here shortly to see you guys as you guys see the door open up behind or in front of you and this handsome fellow come walking on out. This is that bunny man that yes. Ren was a fan of. <laughs> yes. Bunny man. Bunny it's man. so rad. Here we go. I love him. He's... he's he, he's such a beloved NPC, I want to play him as a character, in all honesty. You should. You need to. So he comes walking in, takes a swig of his cigar, or not a swig, a wow. puff of his cigar. He, he puffs his coffee and swigs his cigar. <laughs> I'm a DM. Uh, <laughs> he uh, does a puff of his cigar, swigs his coffee, looks at all of you and goes, Ah, uh, so these are the new recruits then, right? All right. Give me your names. What am I calling you? Uh, uh, Aspen, sister. Sir. Aspen? All right. Well, because of Asp, your code name is going to be Snake. Got it? Sure, I guess that works for me. Got it. We need to keep you undercover. We don't want the villains to know who you are, all right? Snake it is, sir. Snake. Got it. And you. Points at six. Um, hi, I'm six. Well, what is six afraid of? You're seven now. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I love this. <laughs> it, uh, turns to Neromk, and he says, and, uh, you? My name is Neromk, but you can call me Nero. Nero? Like Nero, the guy. Okay, you know what? You're Rome. Sure, whatever the fuck that is. There's a lot of crime in this city, and you guys might not make it out of here alive. Good. <laughs> <laughs> My not God. Good, you're wrong. 
<laughs> I like the cut of your jib. I was just kidding. I'm calling you guys by your actual names. He okay. steps forward and reaches a hand out to shake your guys' hands. I shake wow. it. Wow. Try not to break his hand at the same time. Aspen starts petting the fur on his hand because she's enamored with the bunny, bunny man. He looks like he's going to say something, but you could tell by the amount of dark circles under his eyes that he just has given up and doesn't want to. <laughs> Make things more complicated. <laughs> Sorry. <coughs> Coffee good. Bit. All good. Yep. So, uh, he turns to six, goes to shake six's hand. Uh, six is confused and just puts her chin in her in his hand. Oh. <laughs> Do do I uh he he doesn't understand what's happening so he slowly brings the coffee up to your lips for you to drink it. <laughs> oh. <laughs> she drinks it. Perfect. Uh, coffee in my world gives you a bonus of a plus five to your movement speed. Six. Good job. Dang. Heck yeah. Nice. <laughs> but <clears throat> it also has. The terrible effect of after an hour it casts a horrible spell on you called super diarrhea. <laughs> <laughs> so that's what this is about. Yes. Yep. <laughs> it's amazing. So uh Chief Robert says, Well, uh we had a lot of uh a <laughs> lot of things uh that we were looking forward to you guys to look into. However, uh we have kind of a a bigger problem on our hands right now. The uh, oh. the uh, tavern keeper of the uh, the tavern keeper of uh, Paramount, uh, one of the taverns, the Broken uh, Broken Arrow Tavern. Uh, well, he's gone missing. And missing. Yeah, and uh, last we heard um, from his husband, um, he was. Uh, he was walking uh, to uh, a city just south of us to get more important, so we assume that something either happened in that city or on the way to it. We uh, got our best people to look into it, and they realized he was not in the city, so we need you guys to look into the forests on the outside of the city. Do you think you can handle that? I am a master of these forests. Not a problem at all, sir. So I should be looking to you to be the leader of this mission, then, uh, correct, ma'am? Mm, uh, not sure about leader, but uh, I can navigate pretty well. Takes a swig of his coffee, and he goes, Well, that is... Oh, the, you, you have a funny aftertaste, kid. Uh, that should be fine. Okay, then I guess I could try and lead. Out of curiosity, what's everybody's charisma score in this party? Yeah, I'm also um, looking now. One. I have a Negative, plus one. Wait, is it the number in the circle or the one in the box? Uh, Just your modifier, really? Your yeah. modifier is what matters, which is the number in the box, not the yeah. circle. Uh, <laughs> negative plus one. Plus yeah. one. <laughs> negative one. Ah, so. Uh, the party leader being the lowest one on charisma. <laughs> That's how this goes. I love it. Yep, amazing. It makes me so happy. Uh, so yeah, um, he uh, looks to all of you then, and he says, uh, "Well, uh, think that you guys should uh, start on the road to the south of the town. Then see if you guys can find anything." Uh, he was with a wagon, so if you guys can find it, that would be fantastic in all honesty um if you can find any clues let us know uh if you get any leads you can follow them do whatever you so desire but we need to make sure that this bartender comes back alive do you understand aspen raises her hand yes sir in which way should we communicate with you oh right and he pulls out a small stone that looks like it has a face carved into it oh, this boy. is a sending stone uh he hands one to each of you, and then he has one, and he speaks into it, and you hear his voice coming out of the stone saying, You can uh, communicate like this. Aspen's eyes are glittering. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
Also, uh, if you guys talk through them, you can communicate with each other as well. All four of them are connected. Oh, nice. Nice. Yeah. Like walkie talkies, but cursed faces. Mm. Mm-hmm. Also, uh, <laughs> really quick, uh, Reese, uh, you might be enjoying this uh, bartender. They may or may not be a special guest from another campaign. <laughs> Oh. Yeah. Okay. Just a heads up on that. Uh, it's just so when you, if you saw the art, then that way you're not like, oh boy, uh, what happened here? <laughs> okay. okay. So, uh, a heads up. yeah. So, uh, he says, all right, if you guys are ready, then I would suggest you head out. Um, we're going to try to figure out what is going on on our end, but since we got new recruits, might as well send you guys out. We officially can't do a, uh, missing persons report until it's been 24 hours and it's only been 12, so. This is the perfect uh, mission for the three of you. I thought there were five. I thought you guys said there were five. Um, sir, uh, I just want to say, um, the, the gnome says, coming forward and says, two of them left. What? Why would they leave? Uh, one punched me and the other one wanted to go to the casino. Son of, okay. Damn it. That casino. Yeah. You guys like to gamble? Who doesn't? Who doesn't? Um, uh, what's gambling? I like the cut of your jib as well. I don't often have enough money to gamble with. I use it mostly for alcohol. Alcohol. Uh, I see. Well, I am going to uh, get started on looking into some other stuff. Uh, you guys, uh, let me know. Goodbye, buddy. Love you. Oh. Oh. Sorry, I had, okay. to, I had to mute myself for a moment. Uh, but oh, okay. uh, I was coughing. <laughs> uh, but uh, you guys, uh, let me know uh, if you find anything, all right? You got those sending stones, they last for three hours. Yes, sir. All right. Ten hut. I don't know why I said that. Um, but <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Yes. Okay. So, so should we gather some supplies before we head out on the road? Nah, let's raw dog this. Raw dog it? <laughs> <laughs> but, but that seems a bit dangerous, don't you think? Danger is my middle name. Okay, um, Nurok, what do you think? Eh, it doesn't matter much to me. Okay, raw dogging it is then. <laughs> Perfect. Right. Fantastic. We have a map. Is there a map? Neuron, do you have a map? Do I look like somebody who carries a map? No, you're probably right. Six, how about you? Uh, what's a map? Okay, okay. okay. You're an artificer? Patience, patience Aspen. Um, <laughs> let's see. We should probably ask the captain the name of the road, at least of where we should get started, right? Yeah. So yes. Ashton we'll walks him. over to. I'm just, I'm just gonna walk out the door and start heading towards the tavern because I've definitely drank there before. Okay. All right. Six is following closely behind. Oh, great. <laughs> Ashton <laughs> walks up to the captain. All right. And says, "Excuse me, sir. Let me, um, let me pull the captain back up on the screen. He comes <laughs> out into the street as you guys call him. <laughs> yeah. Um, sir." From which direction would be best to head towards this new location? Oh, uh, south. Um, you're going on Wood Woodsbury Road all the way there. Okay, perfect. Thank you. And Aspen runs to the tavern to tail her teammate. <laughs> okay. Uh, you guys currently see that the tavern is closed due to the fact that it's missing its bartender. <laughs> Oh, yeah. So, free boobs. Hmm. What'd you say? Free what? Free boobs. Free boobs. Free boobs. No one's there. God dang it. It's currently closed. Uh, you see a small uh, small individual with uh, pink hair uh, in the window pointing at the sign saying closed. No, no, we're we're here to ask questions. Is the door locked? The, can I can I jiggle? Can I check the door? You, you can check the door. It's locked, and the small man with purple hair or pink hair comes out, opens the door, and he goes, 
Yeah? Hello? We're here on official business. Uh, the paladins, right? Correct. Okay, um, what... Are, are you looking into, uh... And he looks at Neromk, who is a <laughs> massive woman, and he doesn't come up to her knee. Uh, and he's like, um... Okay. Uh, what, you're a paladin? No, I said we work for the paladins. I never oh. said I was one. Oh god. Uh give me a, <laughs> give me a persuasion check, please. <laughs> Gosh. Oh wait, that's perception, sorry. Uh walk. A twenty. And he nice. is going to roll Damn. A fourteen. He will believe you. Uh he goes, Well, uh, sorry, it's just that there's so many crime families in this city, you never know when you're being extorted. Of course. A sensible reaction. And uh mm -hmm. No offense, but the last bugbear that was here was working with the Goblino crime family, so... Sounds about right. <laughs> yeah, can't trust do, them. Do, do you know anything about them, Neuronk? No. Do I look like a criminal? <laughs> no, but I just didn't know if bugbears, like, knew each other, or... Well, they usually do. Yes, they run in packs. Uh, okay. <laughs> uh, Niram, give me a history check just for the hell of it. Okay. Four. Four. <laughs> you don't even know what a goblino is. Yeah, man, I don't know, dude. Nor do you know what a crime family is. <laughs> yeah, man, I don't know nothing. <laughs> you don't even actually know if bugbears run in packs. <laughs> you're just making stuff up. You're just saying you're confusing them with wolves. <laughs> People, people just believe me. I'm a very, I have a very believable face. What well, don't you know? Yeah. <laughs> uh, but yeah, yeah, you had, uh, you, you said you had questions. Yes, we're trying to find the missing bartender. Yeah, my husband. Yes. Oh, he's your husband. Yeah. We're so sorry for your loss, sir. Uh, thank you. Um, he went to the town to the south. Um, called Bradbury. Uh, yeah, I know Woodsbury and Bradsbury. It's kind of uh, confusing times around here with that sometimes. But yeah, I love uh, their he... scarves. What? I said I love their scarves. Sorry. Oh, uh, they are fashionable. I will say that. Uh, but he um he went missing um about twelve hours ago. Uh, we got in contact with uh. Bradsbury, and they said that it's not, uh, he's not there. And so they think that something must have happened on the road there, so that's all I know. Sir, do you know why he went there? What his intentions of going there was initially? Yeah, we, uh, we were low on supplies, and before we opened up today, he was gonna go get some more. We, uh, mm -hmm. we only have one, one keg of booze left. Mm -hmm. It's why he took so the horses. He... Uh... Oh, he had horses. How many horses, sir? One. Just one. Okay. Just one horse. Great. Well, thank you for your time, sir. I think we should start getting headed out because the longer we wait, the farther away that whoever or whatever may have taken him could get. So, shall we, team? Sure. Yeah, I suppose. We're good. All right. Great. Cooperation is good. <laughs> Yes, finally. <laughs> She's saying it out loud. Wow. I love that. I love that so much. <laughs>